Hello and welcome to Craft with Sarah. In this video I'm going to be making a zigzag stacker. A zigzag stacker is another way of creating a stacker card with 3D effects down the edges of the design. If you enjoy this you might also want to check out my other videos on how to make a standard side stacker, a duo corner side stacker, a wavy edge spiral stacker and various other different types of stacker card as well because there are a lot of different ones available and they all need slightly different tips and techniques to get them looking amazing. But for this one here is the zigzag stacker I'm going to be doing. It's this cute Christmas Westie design. This is one of my own designs and it's available to download for free on my blog which is www.craftwithsarah.com I'll put a link to the exact page you need to go to in the description of this video. I have other designs available for free so you can choose from whichever one it is that best suits the card you're looking to make. If you want more choice I will also put a link to my Craftsy Print Shop where I have a huge range of zigzag stackers available for you to purchase. But let's jump straight on to the tutorial. When you download and print your sheet it will look something like this. You've got your main image over in the top left which is rectangular in size and then the rest of the sheet is covered in these shaped designs. There's two separate versions for each side of the main image. So first we're going to layer on the larger of the two zigzag shapes and then on top of that is going to go the smaller one. There's a little picture on the sheet to show you how we're going to be lining up these layers. So go ahead and cut out all the different shapes and then we can jump straight on to assembling our card. One thing I will say is be careful with these smaller bits when you get to cutting out the part where the two sides of this middle meet. It does get quite thin here so you need to make sure you're careful not to accidentally cut it into two pieces. Here is my card which I've already started making. It's a 5 by 7 inch white card and then all I've done is stuck my Westie picture onto some coordinating pieces of Christmas paper and red card to create this fun design on my card front. Alright so let's get these layers in and start building up our zigzag stacker. So we've got our four layers for the left and the right a big one and a smaller one. So here we go. I'm going to start with the larger layer that goes on the left. So this is going to be stuck here. To create the 3D effect I'm using foam pads but you can also use 3D tape or 3D glue dots or whatever it is you have in your card making stash. So just go ahead and place some pieces of your peel off along the back of this zigzag. You don't need to go crazy and cover the whole thing but make sure you've got enough on there that it's going to be securely held to your card and there aren't going to be any large spaces without any bit of pad on because then it might start to sag. So this should be plenty and now I can just peel off the backings to get that sticky side of the foam pad showing and then I'm going to stick it onto my card. I prefer sticking the main image to my card before I add the 3D layers. I just find it's easier to um, line everything up when this is already stuck on. But if you prefer, you can build up your topper first with the layers and then stick it onto the card. So all I need to do is line this up along the edge and just stick it down. Before I press it down firmly, I'm just going to lie it on there and make sure I'm happy with the alignment before pushing it down. That way, if I needed to move it, I could just pull it up nice and easily without damaging the card underneath. So now I've got the next bit to line up. I'm just going to check I've got that the right way around because these two um, edge bits are quite similar. I don't want to stick the wrong one, but that is right. I'm pretty sure. 
I will just double check by lining this one up. And actually, I think that's the right one. <laughs> there we go. That's why it's important to check before you stick. All right, so I've already put the foam pads on the back of this, so I can just peel them off. And then get my card, and I'm going to stick this one on top of the first one to add that extra layer of the zigzag stacker. There we are. Now that's half the design all done. We just need to do the same with the other side. Again, I've already put these foam pads on, so all I have to do is peel them off and stick it to the card. I like making stacker cards because they come together really quickly and they create something unusual that your recipient will take out the envelope and go wow at. Um, and it's especially good for things like Christmas cards where you usually end up making quite a lot of cards in a short time period because they do come together so quick. Um, for Christmas cards in particular I don't tend to spend hours and hours on just one card, um, again because there's so many to make and stackers offer a way to get those cards made and looking super special but in a nice timely manner. So here's my last bit, I'm going to line it up, oh, just dropped it, so this is why we do it lightly to start with in case of dropping it like I just did. So I'm going to line that up like that, stick it down and now my zigzag stacker card is all finished so that was really nice and quick and easy and you can see as the shadows go down how you've got this awesome 3D effect across the whole card and then it's got this nice rectangle in the middle where we can see the little Westie shining through. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this card making tutorial and don't forget to head on over to craftwithsarah.com to download your free zigzag stackers. If you enjoyed this video, please click the little button below to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for loads more card making tutorials. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.